Hello, hello! Welcome back to Midnight Kitchen. You know we love dim sum. In fact, my dog's name is Dim Sum. My family and I are from the Canton province of China where dim sum originated. I grew up eating dim sum. I've tried dim sum all over China and across the US. And when we saw that there was a Michelin star dim sum restaurant in Vegas, of course we had to check it out. What's the fascination and obsession with dim sum, you ask? Well, the small plates of food allow you to sample a variety from baked, steamed, fried, you name it. They look small in portion size and relatively affordable as a small dish. But when you think about how challenging they are to make at home, man, this is definitely a worthy to eat out experience. In Asia, especially in China, dim sum is perceived as a bonding event. It's about sampling a diverse menu, but at the same time to enjoy that with a really high quality tea. Tea itself help break down this fat. Not only is it tasty and good for you from a health perspective, but it also works really well with dim sum. We're here. Tim Ho Wan is a popular dim sum restaurant that originated in Hong Kong and then now expanded to locations around the world, including Vegas. The Vegas Tim Ho Wan is located in the Palms Casino Resort and offers a similar variety of authentic Cantonese dim sum at somewhat affordable prices. <music> The atmosphere is casual and relaxed with an open kitchen so you can watch the chefs prepare your dim sum. If you've been following along our other dim sum reviews and adventures, you know we like to order a classic menu. For example, Ha Gao Siu Mai, Cheng Fen, and Ta Siu Bao. They may seem simple in appearance, but they are some of the most challenging and representative dishes for any dim sum restaurant. For Cheng Fen or rice noodles, having the perfect batter is really important and challenging to do. How does it taste from a mouthfeel perspective? Is it silky and soft or is it hard and crunchy and like sticking to the roof of your mouth? Is the shrimp cooked just right or is it over or undercooked? Does the flavor of the shrimp enhance the rice noodle itself, or does it feel like an add-on? Siu mai, or a pork and shrimp dumpling, sounds very simple, doesn't it? It's all about that farce or meat ratio. What is that feeling that you get when you bite into it? Does the shrimp enhance the pork flavor or does it deter from the pork flavor? What is the texture that the shrimp brings to the overall siu mai? The other test item for us is ha gao or a shrimp dumpling. This looks simple, doesn't it? A glutinous rice flour wrapper filled with a ball of shrimp and a little bit of ginger. You might be surprised to know this may be one of the most challenging dim sum options at any restaurant. The wrapper is key and must not stick to your teeth or your mouth in general. It is supposed to have a little bit of bounce, but at the same time, silky and soft. The ball of shrimp needs to have that bouncy consistency, mildly seasoned so you can taste the sweetness and freshness from the shrimp with a little bit of ginger to balance out that seafood flavor. The last must-have item is tasiubao or barbecue pork buns. 
The key to a good bun is all about that filling to bun ratio. Generally, it's ideal to have a lot more filling or appropriate amount of filling with a very thin layer of bun or dough. At Tim Ho Wan, they add this additional crust on top to mimic that pineapple bun crust. The sauce is generally sweet, but not too sweet and not too salty. A good barbecue pork filling is all about that balance of cha siu parts. You want a good balance between fat and meat, not completely fat with a little bit of meat. You want a small portion of onion in your mixture to add to that crunch and sweetness. You don't want a lot of onion and a little bit of pork. It resembles a very light sugar cookie crust and adds that crispiness and also sweetness to the overall bun, which was so delightful. Good dim sum is all about good balance. Having a giant siumai or giant hakao is not always a good thing. The highlight for me was that famous baked barbecue pork bun, siumai, and also hakao. The technique was there. You can taste the ingredients because it was minimally seasoned. If you're a fan of dim sum like we are and looking for a very affordable meal at Vegas, this might be a worthy place to visit. I hope you like this one. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.